What's up guys, it's the professor. I wanted to do a drop about something I was thinking about. I've actually discussed this with a couple of homies of mine. I said, let me go ahead and make a drop out of this because it is powerful. Um, and this one is called Dating Disqualifiers and Filters. And pretty much what it deals with is the importance of cleaving. We look in the scripture and it talks about a man and a one woman cleaving together. And one aspect of cleaving that many people don't necessarily vet for is seeing similar lenses, having a similar perspective on life. There's really nothing more important than a lenses in a perspective in which you are viewing life because that changes everything. It changes how you interpret information. But going into the drop, I saw this video and this dude was talking about how women might jock a guy car because he's driving in a Toyota, but the other guy's driving, driving in a Rolls Royce. And, and she'll look at that dude in a Rolls Royce and think, damn, I'd like to be in that. And it got me thinking, why does that happen and why it's so common? It's because most people are not dating off the similar lenses. They don't, they're not vetting off disqualifiers and filters. The same way you filter something when you're doing a search. So let's say you're on Zillow and you're looking at a house and you say, I'm looking at houses between 150,000 and 300,000 and it has to be on two acres and it has to have this and it has to have that amount of square feet. The more filters that you place, the smaller amount of houses are going to qualify for your selection. Well, when you are choosing somebody and you place filters, based on your lenses and based on your desires, the more likely you are to find something that is tailored to you. So when it comes to dating as a man, when you're dealing with a woman, if she doesn't see the world the way you do, do she doesn't have similar perspective to, do, to you, she's not filtering to qualify you. Therefore, any other person can fit that role. Let me give an example. If you are a Muslim brother and you walk into an event, a matchmaking event, there's a hundred women. One brother walks in there and there's a hundred women at this matchmaking event. And he says, I'm looking for a Muslim woman. And only 13 women are Muslim in there. Guess what? He just eliminated 80 plus percent of the people in that room as a potential spouse. So now he only has the ones that are Muslim. So let's say he puts another filter on there. She has to have a master's. And out of those that were Muslim and have a master's, it's only two now. Right. And then let's say he says they both, she has to be raised from a single parent, uh, uh, from a parent, a household with both her parents. And now there's only one. So when he chooses that woman, she can trust that she's going to be more valued because he had to filter to get her. And the problem with a lot of times in relationships, people are not filtering. So there is no trust. If you as a woman, if you're dealing with a woman who doesn't have a filter, then that means any guy can potentially be your competition. Any guy. Whereas if you got a woman that says, I don't want a guy that's vaccinated. I want a guy that's outside the matrix. I want a guy that's Islamic. That's going to cut so many down. So when your woman goes into the world, you know and can trust that not anybody can just step to her because she has filters in the way in which she goes throughout her life based off her lenses. Because the way she sees the world, she filters down. So not many people can step to her. We can use another example. Let's say the woman is a vegan and she don't want to deal with men that, that eat meat. And she don't want to deal with men that are not that are that are not vaccinated that do any vaccinations. That's going to cut her pool down. So if she goes into an event 
and it's a hundred guys in there trying to holler at her and she's looking for a partner, it might only be three men that fit that. So when you are that man that fits that and you proceed to date this woman, you can be sure that there's a filter system and that your competition is not great. A lot of times, whether a man can trust a woman is based on, does she have lenses that requires her to have a filter? Because if the woman has no filter, that means any possible person can be the person that she leaves you or, or moves you or plays you for. Because she has no filter. All you gotta do is make her laugh have some a secure uh, have some secure money have stability and be able to please her there's millions of people like that therefore you're not going to look rare you're not going to be valued because she can't value if there is no filters it's impossible what separates you from the other person or the other men in her life if she has no filters you, any other person could pull up and be better than you. So what happens? Sometimes you'll see a woman. She can be a beautiful woman. She can have athletes, NBA players, NFL players coming after her, right? But she'd be like, I can't. Uh, no, nah, she's not interested. Why? She might be Hebrew Israelite. If she's a Hebrew Israelite woman and she's outside the matrix, there's probably anywhere in her day, she's probably exposed to a thousand men. But the possibility of her running into a Hebrew Israelite outside the matrix man, she might only cross paths with one or two in a day. And that's not even saying she's speaking to those one or two. But only one or two men can qualify based off the filter she has set. You remove that filter, million people can qualify. So a woman who has no filter is a woman who has no understanding of herself. This is why you have to have similar lenses. This is why you choose someone who sees the world the way you do. Therefore, you will be more valued. And on the flip side, let's turn it in for the women. I always say women need to choose a man who has a vision and a role for her in the vision. When Tom Brady was playing for the New England Patriots. He played for them for a while and they had more, many drafts where they could have selected a quarterback, but they didn't choose quarterbacks, right? There were plenty great quarterbacks that came through the drafts that they passed on. Why? Because Tom Brady was the, the main, the key player of the organization. So they built around Tom Brady. They said, we need to get an old lineman. We need to get a running back. We need to get an old lineman on this side. Because our main player, our vision is built upon Tom Brady. And as a man, you're building your team like an organization. So when you choose based off of filters and based off the roles that a woman needs to fulfill for the position in your vision, then she can trust that not any other woman can pull you and pull you off your shit because she knows that you have filters. And sometimes we are getting into relationships with people who don't have filters, even though we may have filters. And that's problematic, because you can't see value. If one person has filters and the other person doesn't have filters, that person with filters is saying, there's only three possible people in the world that can fit what I'm looking for. So I'm secure what I have. The person without the filters, their mindset is, it's a million motherfuckers out here that can fill that role. So how can you see value if you think that the role that your partner has or plays can be filled by millions of other people? When Neo and Trinity were together, they knew based off the vision and based off the filters and based off the lenses in which they viewed life, that there was only one other person who can fulfill that role. Before Neo was outside the matrix and he broke the programming, millions of women could have fit that, fit that role. Before Trinity 
was outside the matrix and broke the programming, millions of men could have fit that role as a partner. But when she changed her lenses and now it changed her perspective and that changes the filters in which she has to filter and sift through men with, now only one man can fulfill that role. And when based off your filters, only one man can fulfill that role and only one woman can fulfill that role, that's where you build the trust and that's where you cleave because you know that you can't just back out of this marriage and go find somebody else. You know that this person is going to be with you for life. That's where you have a lasting relationship because there's filters, disqualifiers, and, sim sim and similar lenses. That's what's missing in relationships today. If all you need for a wife is she can cook, she can clean, and she can fuck, there are millions of women that can fit that. You're not finding what's tailored to you because you don't have a vision that has a checklist. So essentially what you're saying is I have an organization and it doesn't matter what your qualifications are, you can apply for this job. Whereas when you are a man with a vision and you're running your life like an organization, you're going to say, I'm looking for a CFO for this company and they have to have this, 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 this. And it doesn't mean that a woman who was the cashier position at your organization, let's say you're Burger King. It doesn't mean just because she was a cashier, she can't go up the ranks. There's plenty of people who've done that over the years, but they have to want to, and they have to know that you need to fulfill certain requirements to get this higher position. There's a difference between the CEO of Burger King and the cashier of Burger King. One requires a whole lot more training, education, experiences. They have to fulfill stricter requirements. When you're choosing a partner, you don't want to have an entry level cashier type requirement for your partner. You want to have the CEO. They have to have bum, 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 bum. That way you can trust that they are going to be more committed to the relationship, invest more into the relationship. Why? Because they had to put in more work to get there. And on both ends, you guys both know that there's not a lot of people that can fulfill this role. People are in relationships today and anybody can do what the other person's doing. This is why so many guys get replaced in relationships. They don't have vision. They don't have no, they don't make themselves stand out as a commodity. And most importantly, the woman isn't choosing them based off filters. There are women out here where only three to five men on a planet can fulfill the requirements and the filters that she needs out of relationship. That's what you want. That's what you've